Hello, this is Barbara Calvano and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing your angel messages for the week of March 7th through the 13th. And this week I was guided to use the Angels of Atlantis Oracle Cards by Stuart Pierce. And if you are in the New York City area, he's going to be here doing an evening called Enchantment, connecting with the Angels of Atlantis on March 15th. All that information is at my website. So here we go. For the beginning of the week, we have the card Metatron and Miracles. So here, the Archangel Metatron is depicted on the card you see a baby so a newborn baby and it looks like the mother's hand someone's holding the hand of the baby and there's a diamond on the oracle card Metatron is a very powerful archangel and he helps us see the miracles in our lives and also draws miracles to us what Metatron wants us to do especially at the beginning of the week is be present to the miracles that are in your life already. It can very well be acknowledging the miracle of your birth. Now something as simple as that, something that we don't really connect to on a daily basis. You know, sometimes when there's severe illness or tragedy, we get very uh, attuned to life and also the possibility of death. So the miracle of life, also here in the North, uh, in North America, we have spring and the awakening of the trees and flowers, all of it blooming. So it's a time of birth. It's a time of, of um, awakening. And so miracles, be present to the miracles that are in your life. And in order to see and be and attract the larger miracles that we may want to have happen, which could do with anything with our finances and our, our jobs and relationships. Archangel Metatron helps us really get balanced and centered so that we can be so present to those tiny miracles that are already powerfully happening in our lives right now. And it can be having the gratitude of your health of the job that you have right now. It may not be the one that you want ultimately, but the one that you have right now. The friends that you have right now. The opportunities that are already in your life right now. So Metatron has us take a look at the miracles in our life at the beginning of the week. And then we move to the middle of the week and we have the Archangel Haniel. And the message is integrity. And so this goes actually hand in hand with the first message. When you can acknowledge integrity in your life, and integrity is when things are whole and complete, and then when we look at our life and see what's missing in certain areas of our life, again, in the dominant areas of our, of our life, which includes our work, our friends, our relationships, our health, our money, having integrity is very powerful. And honey L is the Archangel that connects us with our intuition. So, what does that mean? There could be areas in your life where integrity is missing. What does that mean? There are areas of your life where you're basically ignoring things that need to be handled, ignoring communications, ignoring completing things, just ignoring, or even unconscious of. So, in order to have integrity, you don't necessarily have to complete everything right away, but it, it is an acknowledging it. Being aware and conscious of those areas of your life that lack integrity. If you're cheating on your healthy diet, or if you're cheating in your relationships, or you're even not being honest with your taxes and your money. It's about being aware and conscious. So Archangel Haniel can help you with that actually help you strengthen your intuition and awareness so that you're really in touch with those areas that need to be addressed and you can bring harmony to them. Then for the end of the week we have the Archangel Zafkiel and here the message is compassion and again this goes very well together. So you can have 
compassion for yourselves and not judge and criticize yourself so harshly if you're not in integrity in your life. So you're not perhaps making enough money that you would like to, or you're not getting healthy as quick as you would like to, or your relationships, you're a little impatient with the people in your life. You know, the list goes on. And Zafkiel helps us have compassion with ourselves. You know, the angels know that we really are doing the best that we can. And then we have the archangels to help us if we allow them to bring that integrity into our lives, and which does allow for more peace and um, ease. So compassion. You now really take a look at where can you have more compassion? And the compassion is, is not just kindness, it includes being kind, but compassion is also being, um, sometimes you have to be rigorous and a little ruthless. Sometimes you have to be empowered or even powerful in your life to address things. You know, change just doesn't happen in this world passively. There are times that we have to really roll up our sleeves really hunker down, anchor in, and as my one of my coaches, which is Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, you need to bring the hustle on. And it is a day-to-day -day consistent vigilance to whatever you want to grow in your life. You know, we really, as spiritual people, we're not just sitting around doing yoga all the time and meditating. It really is about being able to be conscious and aware and then get into action. And that's one of the things I do in my readings and my coaching with my clients. So this week we have the Angels of Atlantis, which you can learn more about on the 15th. And also I will have a blog talk radio show with Stuart Pierce. I'll keep an eye out for that. But we have miracles, integrity, and compassion. What a beautiful message and statement for this upcoming week. Thank you for watching my video. I wish you all the blessings this week. Namaste.